Hey man, is one of your reverse lights broken? Or even worse. Seriously dude, you only have one reverse light? Let's put an end to those comments and we're starting right now, right here. Hey guys and welcome back to Saab Cars. As you may know or may have seen, the new generation 9.5 only has one reverse light. So on left hand drive vehicles the reverse light is on the right side and on right hand drive vehicles the reverse light is on the left side. They chose only to have one reverse light, don't ask me why. If you have additional information about this please put a comment in the comment section. So on the left hand drive vehicles you have it on the right and on the right hand drive vehicles you have it on the left. So if you want both sides what do you do? You get a tail light perhaps from the UK market. Uh, I was lucky to find this on eBay. I know they are difficult to get a hold of but don't worry keep looking scanning the market eBay and scrapyards and so on. If you don't find a taillight there's still hope because there is a kit that you can buy online which adds electronics and a white lead. So you need to open the taillight and add this. I will put the link in the description section to this kit that you can buy online. The taillight is attached with three screws with these kind of plastic knobs so you just remove them and remove the connector and then take out the taillight. So let's get to work removing the original and installing this new UK taillight. So the first thing you need to do is to remove this cover it just pops off very easy and then you have uh, one plastic nut another one and there is a third one in there so you just start removing this and keep your hand on the taillight so it won't fall out And now you can slowly push those screws with your hand and the taillight should soon be released from the car. we have it. And then we need to remove the connector. Like this. And maybe it's time to just clean off the uh, place behind the taillight before we put the new one in. And now let's take the new UK light and just put the connector on. And then we just put it back. Make sure you have fresh gaskets on here otherwise moisture may 
find its way into the lamp. These are available to purchase and I will put a link to the part number in the description section. So now we just do this in reverse. Make sure it aligns in the holes. And then start, start screwing the plastic nuts back. Not too tight, since it's plastic, you don't want to break this, trust me. And the last one down here. So I think it's back in place as it should. Let's just clean off the lamp. and put the cover back where it belongs. One more check on the plastic nuts. All okay? Yeah. Let's put this back. And now let's make a quick test. Turning on the lights and as you can see we have white light on this side as well so now I have tail lights with the reverse lights on both left side and right side so replacing the tail light that's the easy part as you saw just three plastic nuts you just pull out the old one and you put in the new one Finding the tail light that's more difficult, but if you scan the UK market go online check eBay and so on and look for scrapyards in the right-hand drive countries Maybe you're lucky and you will find one If you're not There's still hope as I said because you can buy a kit online that will add the white lead and the electronics for it you just need to open the light on the back here and add that. Buy it online, the link is in the description section. So if you have any questions regarding this, put that in the comment section. I haven't done any modification with taillights using this new reverse light add-on kit. So you need to send the guy selling the kit an email and he will provide photos or instructions. That was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was an easy one, but a difficult one at the same time. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care and drive safe.